Hi folks, welcome back to the technical drawing series. I know that it's been a while since I tackled anything related to technical drawings, but hopefully we are back and we will be back on track to turn out more content relating to technical drawings and other things relating to engineering and product design. Exercise two, we're then going to proceed to look at the construction of an isosceles triangle if we're given the following information. So if we're given information regarding the base, AB, to have length 60 millimeters and size CA, CB given at 100 millimeters. So let's give this a go. Hi folks, now we're now going to tackle the second question relating to the construction of an isosceles triangle. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off by laying out the length of the various sides of the triangle. So I'm going to start off by the base, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure that. So that measures, AB measures 60 millimetres, which is the same as 6 centimetres. So I'm going to stand at one end, scribe to cut the ray. Then I'm going to stand at where I've cut, and I'm going to scribe at the other, like so. Okay. So this is RA. And this is our B. So the next step is to firm out the line. So I'm just going to drag the T square. And I'm going to firm out the line, like so. And the next part, I'm going to add a dimension to indicate that this is 60. So I'm just going to describe projections from A and B, like so. Then open the protractor. So just to make sure that it's open to 10 or a bit more than that. Scribe to cut, and then I'm going to project from the cut to cut out the projection. So again, ideally, best to measure the dimension of the arrowhead, but I'm not going to do that because I'm a bit trying to rush this through to produce more videos. And I'm going to do likewise there. Okay, and this represents our 60 millimeters like so and I'm going to do likewise for the side so above that I'm going to project like so so this line measures 100 millimeters because in the problem it states that the size of the isosceles triangle measures 100 millimeters so we stand at one end scribe like so to cut stand up where I've cut on the line Scribe and cut opposite. So I'm going to call that B, line B, and I'm going to call that C. So I'm going to use an outline to let the line stand out. Like so. And similar to AB, I'm going to project to add dimensions. Okay. So I'm always going to use the same measurements here to offer some consistency. So I'll bring our protractor. I can send that either at B or C. And I'm going to project like so. Okay. Then construct our arrowhead. And do likewise on the other end. And that represents our 100 millimeters. Like so. Now we're ready to construct our triangle. So I'm going to draw a ray like so, quite faintly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our compass. I'm going to extend at A up into a B, up into A, or vice versa. So that represents our 60 millimeters. So I'm going to stand at one end, cut on the line as I've done like so, and do likewise by standing at where I've cut the arc to describe the line to identify B. So that represents our line AB. So that's RA and that's RB. Bring our T square up. 
and I'm going to use an outline to establish the base, like so. So the next part is to complete the triangle. So I'm going to stand at line. I'm going to stand on line um, BC or uh, CB. Stand at C up into B, okay, and that measures 100 millimeters. Stand at B, and I'm going to scribe an arc, like so, okay. Had to make it a bit deep because somehow it's not really showing. I'm going to do likewise, same distance, and I'm going to scribe an arc to intersect, like so. Where the two arcs intersect, that gives us our point C for the triangle. So the next step is to draw a line from the arc intersection C to A, like so. And I'm going to do likewise, project a line from point C to point B. And there we have our triangle. So this technique is a simple but effective way of constructing any isosceles triangle if given dimensional information relating to the base and the site. Now, depending on the problem, so if you wanted your triangle to have angles between CAB or CBA, okay, to be, let's say, 75, 45, 45 will be easy. You can simply use your 45, 45 degree set square to do so. Or if you've been given the height of the triangle and you've been given some information related to the angle, then you can use that information to construct your triangle. But this is more or less the fundamental way of constructing the triangle. And just for curiosity, let's use the protractor to see what the angle measures. So based on what we have, this angle measures about 70, 71, 72, almost 73 degrees. Okay. And if we double check on here, it's more or less depicted likewise, about 73 degrees. Okay. So again, um, just for the sake of it, I'm just going to scribe that dimension. Just put that in there for. Okay, so it's rather dark like so. There we do our arrowhead. Okay, so again, you can use the curve side of the protractor if you want. Okay, do likewise here. And this measures, so just use a different color. And this measures about 73 degrees. And there you have it, folks. So the next video, we're going to have a look at constructing a scalene triangle. And then after that, have a few more tries looking at different ways of constructing triangles. Then I'm going to move from triangles and we're going to start looking at polygons. So on to the next line, folks. Have a good one.